Hi guys, my name is Mark and this is Shroud's Aimbot. Let's go! So, as most of you guys realize really fast, this is Shroud's new mouse in cooperation with Logitech. It's basically the upgraded version of the G303 Apex or Daedalus or whatever, Shroud's old main mouse and he decided or he worked together with Logitech to bring this mouse to the edge right now with the newest technology and I will show and review what you get for your money and what it basically is and how it's different to the old uh, 303 because there's a lot in difference right now to be honest there they changed a lot more than you may expect so let's start um, at first the most of you guys know shroud an ex uh, counter-strike professional who had this prime with uh, cloud 9 and is um, basically right now i think 27 years old and um, is still a very very famous streamer a lot of people watching him playing everything over new world apex whatever he's playing um, he's still very good he's decent I wouldn't say he's pro anymore, but he's capable of playing on a very, very high A tier level and he's still very, very insane with his aim. So his raw shooter skills are very high and I think this was one reason why Logitech um, was able or wanted to cooperate with Shroud and um, to gain some favor out of his name and uh, out of, out maybe also something out of his knowledge based on the stuff he played already and on the periphery he used already. So um, after they released the pre-version of the Superlight x Lite here, um, the Shroud version of the G uh, GPW, so the first model of this one, um, they done the next step, they released this one. The G303 Shroud Edition. That's basically this guy here. Um, most of you people already know this announcement here. They done this on the same day we've done or doing this video on the 11th, so no, on the 16th, sorry, not on the 11th, on the 16th. We have this mouse in some days. Um, there was an, a bug, I would say, or a, a way to get the mouse in, uh, in a bundle with a headset. Um, so you get this headset from Germany and you get the mouse um, from UK and right now um, orders are open for single purchase um, and it's roughly 130 euro and also I think it's 130 US dollar as much as I know um, so you can single buy the mouse right now since some hours um, besides this there are not many informations leaked about the mouse uh, I will show you the box now then I will talk about the specs and uh, about what I felt when I played the mouse guys so at first the box is kind of known I think Typically Logitech mouse box um, with a big shroud sign out of it on it. Um, basically the mouse is here in. Then you will have the cable under, some booklets, the dongle will fit here. And on the back side you have some claims like the weight and uh, that there is zero acceleration, zero filter and stuff. Inside the box is um, a new USB cable, it's USB-C with the translation from the USB-C to the normal USB, where you put in the dongle, um, that change it, that's very good. May some of you guys know the old one from the G Pro. This one, the micro one, was not very good, to be honest, I didn't like it a lot. So you have USB-C now, also you can directly load um, your mouse with the USB-C. You have an indication light here on top, it's pretty good, it works very well, to be honest. Um, I like it, the cable is also standard quality, that's not a... a cable like you get it like um, on some other brands like where you have woven stuff around it's just a normal fabric cable with some rubber um, around it it's okay it works the dongle works um, still or nowadays I see a lot that you have to put this dongle and the mouse two meters away from all your routers who are using Wi-Fi same here in the description they say they are saying please put your router two uh, meters away. I have a router here, one arm here, and the other router is right here, also one arm. So it's in between two routers with uh, Wi-Fi and it works very well, it's no problem right now. So um, yeah, I don't know, for me it works fine. So then you have the mouse. 
As you can see, the shape is a diamond shape. Some of you guys may know an older version of the 303. If you think about this older version, I can tell you already, the new one is a little bit longer and a little bit more broad. This version is even wider than the G Pro on the, on the widest down here. Maybe you can see it. This one is wider. And to be honest, it's only for people with M to L hands. I don't, I have something between S and M hands um, and I, I had some problems um, with grabbing it. Um, tracking was like pff, not that good for me to be honest because I, I, I was not able to get full control of the mouse uh, while tracking. Um, but Flix because of the, the shape and the sensor positioning while holding the mouse like this were on point to be honest because the the aggressive form here, so the, of the diamond shape, is leading you to a very, very good grip because the positioning of your, your finger, or if you play like this for example, will give you a very good control and the sensor is basically in line with your two gripping fingers, so maybe a little bit above, and that's very good to be honest. Um, also the glides, you think the glides are very big, but in relation to how the sensor positioning is and how you grip the mouse and the line between your fingers where this where the stable point is established and the sensor is like on the line a little bit above the line you have a very good feeling for flicking to be honest and the glide is supposed to be give you very good control in the head and gives you a very good stability in the back hand so the big glide here is made after some really good decisions, to be honest, you could make it uh, small, for example, or do it like here. But then I think you would lose some abilities you the, the, the glide gives you because of the weight. You need like the like this the effect of the gliding staying above the pad without getting or establishing more friction or contact friction from the edges by rubbing or moving over your surface. So that's why they decided to have two bigger glides, which give you still a very good glide feeling, but without losing the abilities of control. So well made, it works really good to be honest, but for me, it's not fitting for S to M hands, guys. It's more a hand, um, a, a mouse for bigger hands, M to L. The shape also is very unique, the diamond shape, if you compare it to the Uchochi shape, it's pretty unique. Also, the Hachi is way smaller and different build, to be honest. So, after we had this brief comparison, for example, with the Superlight and the Hachi already, I can tell you that the mouse in general feels very, very good in game. By the clicks, I would say these clicks are on runs. Pretty much feel like omrons, um, pretty equal to other omrons I know. Uh, it's nothing special. These are not kales or uh, whatever. Also, no huanos. I have no information about what switches this are, but just out of the feeling, out of all the mice I have here, I would just say these are omrons. Maybe 20s, maybe 50s. I can't tell right now. But yes, this, these uh, switches are nothing special. Uh, side clicks. Are very good made. Um, they're standing out a little bit. From top it looks like it's not the same um, white or white on the left and right side. Looks like this is a little bit bigger here on this side but it's very good made because the surface, so the, the side you are gripping, is not influenced by the, by the side clicks itself. It's like this edge is dividing the sectors of where your thumb is resting. And honestly, if I grab like this, I don't think you will ever touch the um, side buttons by incident. So it's very good made, very good designed. The small clicks in front are like, <laughs> yeah, you need to like them. Like it's, it's even the, the whole shape is, uh, I think, based on favors and on um, 
which shape in general you like. There are a lot of shapes of different uh, mouse out there and this is the only one I know with a real diamond, not an egg shape. And it feels very special. So besides this, mm, the battery life is 150, no, 140 hours uh, roughly. Um, the mouse wheel feels very good, tactile. It's not free spinning, free wheeling. You can't set it free. Totally okay. Um, but the very, very special thing here on this one is that they built in the same sensor as in the G Pro uh, Superlight, the Hero 25K sensor, which is basically uh, on the same level as the a, as a Focus Plus, so a Pixar 3399, um, which is performing very good, which as they say or as they claim on the website has um, zero smoothening, uh, zero acceleration and high IPS. Um, and I can tell you just by how it felt in Kovacs and in Apex, it's very good. It's very responsive, um, even on very low, low, low um, movement situations on micro correction on the Aqua Control Plus. You had a very instant feeling of the movement that were looks really one by one. It was really very correct, very pointable, uh, very, yeah. Was an awesome feeling from the sensor for a for wireless product, to be honest. One of the best wireless sensor implementations I've um, seen so far. Maybe the best wireless implementation I ever have had. It's better than on the, on the last GWOS model, better than, better than everything. Also better than Final Mouse Starlight, for sure, 100% sure. There's no need to think about this, to be honest. So, the way they made the MCU working with together with the Hero sensor is awesome, awesome implementation. One of the most outstanding performances from a wireless sensor combination I've ever seen, to be honest. Um, the pricing is 130 US dollar, I told you already about. And I think um, if you really like the shape, it's worth it for sure. It's a very good performing mouse. Um, one thing I can tell you is that if you have this mouse, um, you for now you only can use integrated memory solution from Logitech, which also I would say should be the only thing you use. Um, G-Hub is not even recognizing the mouse because for G-Hub this mouse is non-existing. But here you have it in the manager, it says G303 Shroud Edition Gaming Mouse. You can set everything as you know from, the, uh, from your other, from G-Pro for example. It works well, it works fine. You can switch the software off after, you can save it. It's working very good. Um, one useless thing I found was the, the, I don't know, the slider here to insert the dongle. <laughs> I have no clue why you should put it in there. Um, and for me, it would be, I would like to see um, a super light version of this in near future, like in, a, in half a year or in one year. Um, below 60 gram, maybe 55 grams, something like that, would be a game changer, I think. Because the way the, the, the mouse works and how the tracking is, how the feeling of the sensor is, it's really, really direct, guys. Really good, mate. It's outstanding. Um, the performance is very good from Logitech. This is one of the um, most surprising wireless mouse this year for me, to be honest. Um, I hope, guys, um, you had a I gave you enough information for you to decide if you want to buy this and test this one or not. Remember, you can buy it on Amazon right now. As we're talking here right now, there is no, not even a post or a picture on the Logitech site or any mention on the Logitech site for it. It's only on Amazon for 130. Um, try it out. Maybe you love it, maybe not. If you don't, just send it back. Um, I hope you enjoyed the review, guys. See you on the next one. Bye bye.